let us see what an hydrostatic state of stress is. hydrostatic state of stress. This is if you immerse a body in a fluid then it will be subjected to equal pressure on all surfaces and such a stress state is called an hydrostatic pressure or hydrostatic state of stress ok. So, you will if I were to write it in terms of the matrices this will be P times 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 this is called shortly as P times identity matrix ok. This is called identity matrix and is denoted by this symbol 1 ok. So, basically now you have this sigma written as P times identity so, what will be the most circle for this? Next question is what is the most circle for this? The sigmas of n, tau of n, what is the most circle for this? Basically, you have sigma xx equal to sigma yy and there is no shear stress at both the points. So, this will be a point on the most circle which will be p at a distance p from the origin ok. So, the most circle is a point is a point on the x axis ok. It is not a circle what does that mean? It means that any plane will have no shear stresses on it all planes will be subjected only to the normal stresses which is P ok. So, what we are saying is in hydrostatic of state of stress there will be no plane there is no plane on which shear stresses occur ok. In contrast to this in unitational state of stress there was a single plane on which there was no shear stresses that was the plane on which you wrote the stress state your E x E y axis that you chose your E x E y axis that you chose here was a stress state where there was no shear that is you represented these two points in the most circle, but any other plane will have a shear stress because this is a circle in here ok. In contrast for a hydrostatic state of stress there is just a point there exists no plane on which there is any shear stress this is a much stricter requirement than what happens in case of any other stress state ok. In any other stress state there will be a plane on which there is no shear stress, but there will always be shear stress in some plane only if the state of stress is hydrostatic there will be no plane on which there is shear stresses present ok. Now, the next stress state that we want to define is what is called as a pure shear stress state. what this means is there exists a plane exists a plane on which only shear stresses act that is no normal stress on this plane no normal stress on this plane ok. So, what does this mean? It means if I take let us assume E x E y and let us draw the stress cube in, in the stress cube there is only tau. ok that is only tau acting there is no normal stress on this plane there is no sigma x x or sigma y y ok. If I write it in the matrix form this sigma would be 0 
tau 0 tau 0 0 0 0 0 okay because the shear stress is sigma x y or y x stress okay so the sigma will be written in this form a corresponding mohr circle would be n tau of n the corresponding mohr circle would be the following okay circle will be the following now what are these points 0 and 0 tau and tau right so the points that l plus draw the circle were these two points okay the normal stress where the maximum shear stress occur is this point which is 0 in there is no normal stresses in this plane but there exists a plane where there is only normal stresses and no shear stress right that is that is this plane which is 90 degrees to this uh, principle uh, 90 degrees to the maximum shear stress plane where in, in this plane this will be tau and this will be minus tau if this were to be tau and tau okay. So, what happens if I rotate this by 45 degrees because I have 90 degree rotation in the Mohr circle I will rotate this by 45 degrees rotate this by 45 degrees to C x star E y star which makes an angle 45 degrees I will have in this direction tensile stress of tau and in this direction a compressive stress of tau okay. So, there will be equal magnitude of tension and compression coming in this stress state which is a pure stress state in a 45 degree plane to the corner system in which the stress tensor at a representation similar to this okay. So, another representation of this stress tensor is tau 0 0 0 minus tau 0 0 0 0 okay. So, what we are saying is there exists only a one plane at least one plane in which there are no normal stresses that is the key word okay there is only one plane in which there are no normal stresses there might be other planes in which normal stresses will occur there will be planes in which there is no shear stress even though the state of stress is a pure shear. So, do not get confused by the word pure shear to mean that there exists no plane in which normal stresses occur there will be only one such plane because the principal stresses will always be there in which plane there will not be any shear stresses okay. So, you have to understand that even though we call it as a pure shear stress state it means only one plane in which there will not be any normal stresses and there will be only shear stresses in the acting on that plane. Okay. The next stress state that we are going to look at is what is called as a deuteric stress state. This is noted by sigma deuteric, this is nothing but sigma minus trace of sigma divided by 3 times identity you will note that trace of sigma deuteric would be trace of sigma minus trace of sigma by 3 times trace of the matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 which would be 0 because the trace of this matrix is 3 this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So, trace of sigma minus trace of sigma gets cancelled. So, trace of deuteric tensor is 0 okay. So, basically deuteric tensor is defined as this matrix sigma minus trace sigma by 3 times identity. What this tells you is this gives you the components of stresses that causes distortion in the body. The stress causes distortion or angle changes in the body okay. In contrast to this you add the hydrostatic pressure or hydrostatic state of stress 
okay in contrast to this you have hydrostatic stress which will cause no distortion but only volume changes in the body if volume change is possible okay there are bodies which doesn't whose volume will won't change due to the application of hydrostatic pressure such bodies are called as incompressible bodies okay so basically now hydrostatic pressure is the one which causes volume change deuteric stress is the one that causes changes in angular distortion of the body okay